Welcome to this week's legislative report. Senators began this week by debating a measure that would shorten the phase-in period to exempt Social Security income from income tax and wrapped up the week discussing juvenile justice reforms. Between, they passed a resolution to authorize Nebraska's participation in a convention of the states that could propose amendments to the U.S. Constitution and a measure to make adjustments to the income tax credit for property taxes paid for schools. Next week, debate will continue on juvenile justice reforms and move to other 2022 priority bills, including LB 986, a cap on school property taxes. At the end of this week, one quarter of the 60-day session has been completed. This week, the Judiciary Committee heard several bills that would affect counties. Among them was LB 921. The bill would require that all sentences of Class 3, 3A, or 4 felonies be served in county jails. Opponents, including county officials in NACO, testified that county jails are intended for short-term sentences of less than one year and provide programming with that in mind. Counties would be forced to increase capacity and programming if inmate numbers increase for longer periods. Judiciary Committee Chair Steve Lathrop, who introduced the bill, argued that a typical defendant on this type of felony charge already spends much of their potential sentence in a county jail waiting for trial and pre-sentence reports. If they're also given good time credit, the time served in a county jail under LB 921 might not be significantly longer than under the existing structure. He suggested that the money that would otherwise be spent on building more state facilities could be given to counties to help with programming, mental health services, telehealth services, and other needs for additional inmates. A bill heard by the Transportation and Telecommunications Committee would address ongoing concerns over whether the state or county should be responsible for repairs to approaches to state highways. LB 913 would require the Department of Transportation to repair or replace highway approaches that were destroyed by a natural disaster or due to faulty engineering. Highway superintendents and NACO testified in support of the bill, citing the kinds of work typically done by counties on state highway approaches, such as moving snow and replacing gravel, and the expense of hiring an asphalt company to repair a single approach. The Nebraska Department of Transportation and NACO will work on amendments to define the term faulty engineering and refine liability language. Next week, the Revenue Committee will hear two bills and three constitutional amendments to change the valuation of real property, including measures to reduce the valuation and to create separate classifications of residential and commercial property.